how the web works in relation to web development. So by the end of this video, you will understand how the web page are sent from the internet to a computer. So before getting started, I just request you to smash the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So welcome back. So first we need to focus on how the website over the internet really works. So the first main component of all the websites are its file. These files include your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, videos, images, determine how the website will really look and function. Secondly, the second most component is the server. So the server is a computer that serves many kinds of information to a user or a client machine. Generally, a server will only do a few things for many clients. So in a simple words, the individual computer are connected to some powerful computers called server. Now the final component of the internet is the web browser. So the web browser is a type of program that runs over your phone or computer that known how to properly render the web page files being sent by the server. The web browser is commonly referred to as the client. For some example of web browser uh, includes your Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Mozilla Firefox, etc. So you now understand the very basics of how the web works over the internet. So now we let's talk about what is HTTP. Okay, so HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP works similarly to a conversation with your friend. So for example, if you ask your friend what's your favorite book, so your friend responds by saying think like a monk then on the basis of your previous question you ask a similar type of question to your friend is uh, who's the author of that book so in response of your uh, in response of your question your friend says Jay Shetty so, so in HTTP the web browser asks the server for a specific HTML file and the server respond uh, with that file the browser will then parse the HTML file and it seems any additional information that it needed such as videos, images, CSS file, then it will ask the server to send those additional files. Most sites which are visited over the, over the internet contain HTTPS, okay, which stands for the Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. So uh, while communicating this function, it exactly same as HTTP, but the information which sent it between client and server are being in the form encrypted. So encrypted means you are converting the, your data into code so that uh, no one is used to be accessed uh, unauthorizedly. Okay. Now the last component of the internet is the conversion of domain name to the IP address. So it is a very complicated topic where we need to focus on very basics to develop a particular website. So every website has a domain name that just the URL of the website such as google.com, facebook.com or wikipedia.org which store the web page file also has no also have been domain name and but they have a unique IP address. This means to access a google.com or facebook.com or wikipedia.org, the web browser will need to convert the domain name into the IP address uh, of the server with Google's web page file. This process is known as TNS resolution, which means domain name server resolution. So now at the end of this video, you understand how the web browser and server communicate to each other. So if you have any questions, let me down, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's it. 